Hello, it's time for our bite-sized Pilates extra. So we get our extra relaxation, because it must be Friday. Um, the class format, you all know it, but just as a reminder, we have 15 minutes of the exercise, which is mainly stretching today. Um, and then we have our 10 minutes relaxation at the end, which is well-deserved after another week. Another week of lockdown. Welcome everybody, welcome those who have come back after the first class. And if you've just joined us for this one, big welcome. Matt, um, you don't need anything else. I mean, I've got my band. Well, it's my, my kid's old school tie, but I've got a band for stretching. And what we're going to do in this is essentially most of the moves, we're going to hold them. Hello, Jill. And um, we're going to hold them for about mm, 15, 20 seconds. So it's a very slow moving class. It helps if you're a bit warm. Um, so if you are chilly, pop a bit of heating on. Um, and it's all very slow and controlled. If you go into a stretch and it feels really, really unpleasant, please stop. Um, you know, it's um, <laughs> excellent. Hi, Jill Winfield. Well done. Hello, Diane. Um, so, yeah, as I say, if it feels unpleasant, do stop. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Hello again, Diane. So, let's get going. First of all, we're going to stick sit on our backsides. As always, if you'd rather sit on a cushion, sit on a cushion, that's fine. And I'm going to get you to put the soles of your feet together. What that tends to make us do is lean backwards. So I want you to really make sure you're sitting up straight. One way to do it is sit on a cushion. Other way is to lift up and kind of tilt forwards. And then you sit on your sitting bones. Now I'm going to ask you to bring your feet in. And once you've got them there, try and relax your knees. So very often in class, I can see everyone's really tense here. So I want you to try and relax those knees down. Take a big breath in. And I'm asking you to lean forward a little bit. Now I'm not looking for you to put your head down low. Um, if I can show you something, but it's tempting to kind of do that. That's not what I want. I want you to push forward kind of from your belly. So you're keeping your back nice and straight. Get to the point where you think, well, that's as far as I'm going. And then we're going to hold. So take a lovely big breath in. Exhale. And with all these sorts of stretches, use your breathing. If you want to increase the stretch, the best time to do that is when you exhale. So breathe in. Exhale, little lean forwards. And for me, I'm getting a big stretch in my lower back and around my hips. Yours might be a bit different. Everyone's a bit different. Lean forward again. Good. I can feel how cold my feet are. I should have put socks on. My feet are cold. Take it there and bring yourselves back up. Give your legs a little shake out. Next stretch we're going to do is with straight legs. Again, stay sitting on a cushion if you find you can't um, sit up straight. Breath in, relax your legs, and I want you just to tuck your chin and roll your upper body forwards. And immediately, the backs of my legs are going, oh, I can feel a big stretch. It's not a sharp pain. It's not like a joint sharp pain. It's a really intense stretch, and that's what I want you to feel. And for me, I'm getting that pretty much the entire length of my legs. Arms are relaxed. Don't worry, if you're doing it with your partner and they've got their head on their knees, disregard them. It's fine, just do what works for you. Hopefully you can all feel the stretch on the back of the legs. Every exhale, just relax your upper body a little bit more. And it's quite intense, it's quite intense stretch. Lovely. Bring yourselves up. I'm going to face you for this one. So one leg stays straight, the other one pops up. Now I can get mine here quite comfortably, but for you it may be lower. Fine. Bring that leg up. And I want you to turn towards your straight leg, because the body's kind of turning into that middle section. Turn towards your straight leg, and you can even push against that open knee. Take a breath in. And again, we're going to do two different lean forwards on this one. First one, straight back. So lean forward with a straight back. Take yourself as far as you can go. Admire your toenails. Bring it back up. Next time, tuck your chin. We're going to hold this one longer. Tuck your chin. Take your foot down. Now what tends to happen is the arm that's in the middle of your legs tends to open back so that you're kind of going to twist. I want you to turn that round so you're not twisting because it's all about the stretch. Oh yeah, we're getting into our backs here as well as our legs. Exhale a little bit lower. The thing with stretching 
is it's worth a little bit of a tweak, a little change of your shoulder positions. See how that feels. So if you want a bigger stretch on the back, the hand that is in the middle, take it to the other side and you can actually add a rotation. Now for me, actually that feels great today. This shoulder's a bit stiff and that extra bit of stretch really works. But you might want to stay here. Good, bring yourselves back up. Give those legs a shake out. Guess what? You knew. Other leg, up it comes. Again, get settled. My body's facing that way. Remember, we're gonna turn the shoulders towards this straight leg and have a little lean down. Straight back first. I got that, didn't I? Straight back, take it forward. And I can feel hip, yeah, if you can. What you can do as well is put a cushion under there if it's too much. Um, because you have to judge. Sometimes in class it's quite hard because when we are in discomfort, we tend to smile. Now obviously when the classes had masks, I couldn't tell, but before that, I'd become, and then tuck your chin, it was it, everyone smiling and I'm thinking, yeah, they're not enjoying it. That's, that's a discomfort. Turn those shoulders around. Remember what we did, those who want to, try taking the hand to the other side of your leg and then add a twist. But only do what works for you. For me, this is getting really nice into those shoulders. I think it was the arms. We did a lot of arms this week, didn't we? Those muscles have tightened up. Hold it there. If you can dip forward a little bit further, that'd be great. Don't worry if you can't. Excellent. Bring yourselves up. Oh, ho, ho. Give your legs a little shake out. We are going to sit cross-legged, but you don't have to. You can just stay with your legs out. But if you can sit cross-legged, sit cross-legged. We're going to stretch our QL. This is the muscle kind of here in that mid back, which for lots of us gets a bit tight. And for this one, the arm's going to come over. And I want you to lean over till you feel the resistance. And that's where you stop. I'm really pushing this side of my body down as I lengthen. And I'm not collapsing my hand on my head. Stretch it through and hold. Now at this point, probably you're not breathing. Take a breath in. Can you stretch a bit more? That's a big old one. Hold it there. 20 seconds is a long time. Well done. Back over we go. And these exercises, we're doing one each side, but if you wanted to do more, then just do the whole lot through again. I would suggest twice through would be enough. I wouldn't do any more than that. Um, but if you're finding one particular exercise, say for example, this is killing you, then maybe you need to do it more often. Maybe not today, perhaps tomorrow or Sunday. Stretch, across, stretch, 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 push this other side down so you're really maximizing that stretch. Good work, everybody, well done. And just to loosen things up, bring those arms up in front, little twist, side to side quite quick, just because our muscles can feel a little bit static after we've stretched them. Two more, one more, lovely, well done. Okay, onto our backs now, go down nice and gently, not rushing, all the way down. I'm going to do something very simple, and you can do this all day, pelvic tilts. Now, when I took my glasses off last week, I trod over them, broke them, that's my spare pair, so I'm not going to tread on those ones. So. Oh, feet hip width apart, take a breath in. All I want you to do is tilt and then release. So we're not gonna hold this one for 20 seconds. This is about mobility really, as well as stretching. Remember with the pelvic tilt, you're not clenching your bottom. You're not even lifting your bottom off the floor. We're just doing a lovely twist, a lovely tilt and release. And I was doing these this morning. You can do them standing, you can do them lying, do them sitting. They're a really good exercise if you feel that back is not cooperating in the morning. Couple more. One more. Lovely. Taking hold of one knee, doesn't matter which one. I want you to draw it into your chest as much as you possibly can. Now we're gonna do two positions. We're gonna have the knee into chest and the knee into armpit. So this is a chest one. Draw it in as much as you can. Pull, pull, pull. Breath in. Pull it in a bit more. Let your shoulders relax. 
let that music wash over you. Well done. Release your knee a little bit. Now pull the same knee towards the armpit. Just changes it a little bit. Pull it through. Breath in. Exhale, pull it again. Well done, release that leg. And you know the same thing's gonna happen on the other side. In comes that knee, draw it into chest. And try not to get lots of tension. If you're feeling really tense, oh, she's just getting a bound. You can use your bound. So if you find the shoulders lifting forward awkward, you can use your band and, and pull it in there and you're far less likely to create tension across your shoulders. So there's always that choice. Get that pulled in, breath in, exhale. So it's a really big old stretch. Keep it a little bit longer if you can. And then we're going to release it slightly and the same idea but towards the armpit just to increase the stretch around the hips really hold it there and we could stretch you know we could do and i might even suggest we do that perhaps next week or the week after um we'll i'll record a, a longer stretch class maybe a half an hour one we could do one um see how things go over the weekend i might do one um because we don't get into everything in 15 minutes. It would be quite nice if we had a top to toe stretch session that we could do. So I'll have a think about that, see if I can put something together. Pull it a little bit more. Good, well done, that leg goes down. Okay, I want you to get hold of your band now for me. And it's hamstrings, you knew that was coming, didn't you? Uh, so, band behind the back of your leg. Option is to hold behind your thighs. Shoulders are relaxed, breathe in. As you exhale, draw that leg in. Oh my goodness, that's a devil of a stretch. So we're stretching back of the thigh. That's where you've got three hamstring muscles and one of them crosses your knee. Now, if you always have a slightly bent knee, that hamstring there never gets a proper stretch, which you kind of probably think, well, why does that matter? And it doesn't matter until you're kicking the ball about with your grandchildren or something and you kick your foot and you, you just tear your hamstring. <laughs> so it's really important to stretch all three of those hamstrings and that's why I nag about straightening your leg properly. Breath in, pull that band in a bit more. Hold it there, it should feel fairly intense. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does feel intense. Good, relax that leg down. Let's go to the other one so you know what you're doing. Leg up in the air. Don't assume each leg's the same. I've certainly got tighter hamstrings on this leg. Old injury that's, uh, I think I'm just aware of it. Straighten your leg properly, no cheating. Breath in, pull that leg in. Hamstring flexibility is something that really will improve if you keep at it. Um, I used to always demonstrate the easy option in my aerobics class with this leg and the more advanced option with that leg. This leg is more flexible <laughs> for certain stretches because I always demonstrated, even that's my tough leg, I always demonstrated the advanced level on that one. So I can notice it that this leg is not as flexible. Um, and that's just from regularly stretching one more than the other. So let's not do that. Let's do both legs the same. Pull it through, straighten your knee if you can. Hold it there. Good. Release your leg down. We're going to gently roll over onto our hands and knees and we're going to do some child's pose. And child's pose is a fabulous stretch, but if you can't get into it, do a cat stretch. So remember cat stretch? That's your cat stretch, yeah? Hold it for a few seconds and come down. Child's pose, people. Knees very slightly apart. Down we go. Head to the floor if that works for you. But if your bottom lifts, what I want you to do is put a pile of your hands to make a little headrest, and that's gonna help. And over time, I don't mean just in this session, but over time, you will find you could gradually lower down. Hands, you can have them extended in front or down beside you. 
and just settle here, everybody. When you're breathing in child's pose, it can feel a little bit difficult because obviously you're cramped up. The best thing to do is when you breathe in, imagine you're breathing in to the back of your chest, so the ribs, the back ribs. So when you breathe in, allow that area of your, of your torso to expand and you'll find your breathing is much easier. And again, breath in. And out. Couple more. And one more. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. We've run out of time. It goes so quickly. We're going to go to our um, relaxation now. 10 minutes relaxation. Oh, I'm about to sneeze, sorry. I'm going to get my blanket. Get yourselves nice and comfortable. Close those eyes. And I'm just going to change the music so I make sure it doesn't run out on us. So close your eyes, lie on your back. Sometimes I find it just disappears. There we go. That's the one I want. Okay, everybody, well done. So, this 10 minutes is your 10 minutes. I'm going to leave the music playing. I'm not going to keep talking. I'm going to leave you to it. But remember, I want you to think about long, slow, deep breaths. Allowing your body to soften. Face, particularly. Shoulders, arms. And each time you find your mind drifts, perhaps to worry about something, draw your mind back in. Maybe just think of a lovely image. Maybe a holiday, you're lying on the beach on a sunny day. Whatever it might be, try and give yourself a lovely positive image. Thanks, Hilary. And uh, just enjoy yourself and relax.
thread we start to bring yourself back into the room. Have a little stretch. Oh, rid of your fingers or your toes. Bringing you, your knees back up. And when you're ready, bring yourself back up to sitting. I'll get my glasses on. Oh, well done, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed that today and this week. And we've got another full packed programme next week. Oh, thanks for all the hearts and thumbs, everybody. Packed programme coming next week, as always. Thank you, Cathy. Thank you, Mary. Oh, nice to have you for both classes today, Mary. That's nice. And Joan and Deb, Jim, Jean, Hilary, Sarah, Lorraine, Carol, Joan, Diane, Cathy. Loads of us, loads of us today. So have a nice weekend, everybody. Don't forget you've got the whole library of all of these classes available, not just on Facebook and on YouTube as well. Please share them. You know, as long as we're in lockdown, I'll be keeping these going for you guys and for me. Um, and, uh, you know, who knows what the announcement will be on Monday. But um, we'll see. But I will see you next week regardless. Have a good weekend, everybody. Look out for those signs of spring. And, um, yeah, have a good weekend. Bye.